I'm Elizabeth and I worship at St. Peter's. Today's reading is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 22 to 35. Then Peter came up and asked him, Lord, how often am I to forgive my brother if he goes on wronging me? As many as seven times? Jesus replied, I do not say seven times. I say 70 times seven. The kingdom of heaven, therefore, should be thought of in this way. There was once a king who decided to settle accounts with the men who served him. At the outset, there appeared before him a man whose debt ran into millions. Since he had no means of paying, his master ordered him to be sold to meet the debt with his wife, his children and everything he had. The man fell prostrate at his master's feet. Be patient with me, he said, and I will pay in full. And the master was so moved with pity that he let the man go and remitted the debt. But no sooner had the man gone out than he met a fellow servant who owed him a few pounds. And catching hold of him, he gripped him by the throat and said, Pay me what you owe. The man fell at his fellow servant's feet and begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you. But he refused and had him jailed until he should pay the debt. The other servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened. And they went to their master and told him the whole story. He accordingly sent for the man. You scoundrel, he said to him, I remitted the whole of your debt when you appealed to me. Were you not bound to show your fellow servant the same pity as I showed you? And so angry was the master that he condemned the man to torture until he should pay the debt in full. And that is how my heavenly father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. This passage is part of Jesus teaching his close band of followers the new covenant, the new rules of life, if you like, or relationship with God. <clears throat> All Jews at that time would have been familiar with the old rules set in Leviticus and Deuteronomy about the various gradations of sin and the punishment which was lawful to meet out. So Peter was trying to establish what was different about the way Jesus wanted people to behave compared with the previous practices, quoting Jewish law as set out in the Old Testament, where the number seven occurs in several passages and he was trying to find out what was different about the new covenant which Jesus was talking about, hence his reference to forgiving someone seven times. In answer to the question, Jesus shows how very different the new rules are. The old ideas are to be replaced by much more radical and personal ones. Forgiveness has to come from the heart and be unconditional not just complying with the legal formula. His first response to Peter was a massive exaggeration. Forgive your neighbor not seven times, but 70 times seven. As always, Jesus has the knack of illustrating the principle with an easily understood story. In his illustration, he uses a story of a master who decided to settle up all the debts owed to him. His first servant had a ridiculously high debt, millions in some translations. Since the man could not possibly pay back the debt, the master could have insisted on the letter of the law for the servant being sold into slavery, his wife and children too. After the man had thrown himself onto the ground and begged for time to pay, the master was so moved with pity that he not only let him go, but forgave the debt. What an amazing tale. The man had run up a huge debt and would have been expecting a disastrous outcome, loss of everything, including his family. He certainly would not have expected the master to be so merciful. You would have thought that he would rush home, thanking his lucky stars and telling his wife 
how fortunate he'd been. Not at all. No sooner had he left to go home than he met someone who owed him a few pounds. In contrast to the compassion of the master, our servant assaulted the debtor and gripped him by the throat and had him jailed, demanding full payment. Quite a contrast to the treatment he himself had received. However, all this was reported to the master by witnesses. He called the servant back and remonstrated with him. He was so angry that the servant had not learned to be merciful that he condemned him to be tortured until he could repay the debt. Jesus then points out to his listeners that we must show genuine forgiveness to others ourselves for God to forgive us. One of the hardest things for us to do is to forgive. People often tell others of arguments which they've had, and by continuing to recall the apparent in the other person. St. Paul says in his letter to the Colossians, be forbearing with one another and forgiving. Where any of you have a cause to complain, you must forgive as the Lord forgave you. And Matthew says in chapter 6, for if you forgive others the wrongs they have done, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then the wrongs you have done, done will not be forgiven by the Father. It is exactly the same as in the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, clear our minds of simmering resentments against others. Help us to face up to our lack of forgiveness. May your loving kindness to us be reflected in the way we respond to those around us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.